Over the weekend, the first annual Girls Rock the Rink and the Grindstone Award Charity Tournament took place in West Kelowna. Nearly 200 girls and women came together to play hockey. She's going to skate up the ice and you're going to make passes back and forth. Young girls between the age of 5 and 17 hit the ice in a skills competition, playing on a 5 and 5 and more to challenge themselves and try something new. Today's her first day of hockey ever. Uh, last night she was really excited about coming out and today she had a smile on her face all day and she did a little road hockey with her brother yesterday to get warmed up. So yeah, it's going really well. Are you looking forward to maybe making some new friends on the ice today? Yes. Have you played hockey before? Mm, no. Other way, honey, this side, this side. So, Dad, what made her want to do this today? Uh, I think partially because her, her brother plays hockey, and she's just always been figure skating, so she wanted to uh, try hockey to be like her brother, I think, older brother. Are you a good skater? Yes. Yeah. Do you skate a lot? Yes. What are you guys most looking forward to today? Um, I like on the ice playing, meeting new people and stuff. And I like to, I would like to have a scrimmage and then we can score some goals. Do you guys think this, this is fun to have lots of other girls around you and other girls your same age here? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, we met at a girls tournament in Cam Kamloops. Do you think that there's enough women's hockey, girls hockey in the Okanagan, or would you like to see some more? Um, I'd like to see some more. Yeah. Like older league, older league. Yeah, I'd like to see more too. The whole event was put together to raise funds for grants for girls struggling to get into hockey from across Canada. I actually grew up here in West Kelowna, playing on this very rink, actually. And uh, growing up, my parents didn't have a whole lot of disposable income to, uh, you know, from our participation in, in sports. And uh, I understand sort of the struggles that they've had to go through. And hockey's been a really important part of my life, allowing me to go to college and uh, go to an Ivy League school and play professional in Europe and also now give back in coaching in different ways. So it was always sort of within me to, um, to do something like this. And... Uh, uh, our co-founder Sasha came up with the idea and approached me and it was it just made sense and it was a no-brainer as I guess you can say. <laughs> so I made a really tough decision in grade 12 that I was going to go to the pursuit of excellence. Do you guys it that? makes me so happy. I love that girls are starting younger. I mean a lot of uh, my generation in college they started playing when they were 14, 15 years old so to see them on the ice when they're we have youngest is four years old so that's pretty cool to see them start so young. They're going to be they're going to be awesome hockey players by the time they get to college. How inspiring is it to see all these young girls out and achieving their dreams? I just think it's important that girls know they can be a part of it. And it's not, they, it's not that, oh, you play hockey? Well, you're a girl. You can't play hockey. Now it's becoming more accepted. We've got some really good players here that have played um, professional like college hockey. So just kind of giving the, these young girls that are here, you know, the opportunity to see what it's like. It's a little intimidating sometimes, you know. Reporting from the Royal LePage Arena in West Kelowna, I'm Anita Stankia.